Okay guys, uh, this is my Facebook uh, Live right now and what I'm going to show you is how to do a Facebook ad. Now there's many different reasons to do a Facebook ad or different ways to do a Facebook ad, but I'm just going to like kind of just go through one so you can kind of see how to set up a Facebook ad if you've never done one before. And then of course there's lots of things to talk about of course. Um, again, this is just my personal Facebook and what we're going to want to find is ads manager or if you've never set up a Facebook ad there should be somewhere on your Facebook how to create a Facebook ad or it might say create ad or something like that so it might be this might be the only thing that you see so definitely click on that um, to do your ad but what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go into ads well no I'll go to create ad why not And let me let me maneuver this a little bit, guys, because it's out of the screen. You can't see everything. So that should be good, I think. If we have to maneuver things around, we will. All right, so this is the main page for creating a Facebook ad. You'll see that you got to create your objective, your audience, and then, of course, the actual ad. And that's those are the steps and these are the different reasons why you would want to create a Facebook ad so you can see right now um, you know you want to collect leads for your business get video views we talked about video already on Facebook and that's really popular uh, claim an offer all these right here guys and some of them are just to send people to your website if you want um, promote your page and these top two are probably used quite a bit actually and we're gonna actually um, promote your page we're going to use that one today to create your Facebook ad so before I, oh, let's go ahead and do that right here so which one do I want to get likes to of course it's suggesting all my Facebook page ads or excuse me my Facebook pages and so I'm going to uh, select oh, which one do I want it's interesting it only it doesn't give me everything it just gives me like okay so I'm going to select say I'm going to type in survivors lock-in so you can actually name it whatever you want but that looks good to me and now we are going to set the audience and budget. Okay, you can actually come up with uh, custom audiences. Uh, this is really cool. Uh, it's for another video for sure because there's a lot of stuff to talk about. You can actually use email addresses if you have an email list and you can and um, import those in and it'll show Facebook ads to people that have already been subscribers to like your email list or whatever. It's pretty neat. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick a location. So basically this section right here, who do you want to reach? What kinds of, like what type of people, I guess, do you want your ads to reach? And this is really cool because um, you can start choosing who it is that you want to reach. And I'm going to get out of there and I'm going to type in, we are going to go outside the United States for this one, which is cool because Facebook ads, you can do anybody in the world. And what I will say right off the bat is the ads that you do to people here in the United States, it seems to just be a little more expensive, like your cost per like or per click, whatever it is that you're doing, tends to be a little more expensive. So um, I want to show you, actually, I'm going to back out completely. I know this is kind of all over the place, guys, but I want to show you why really fast, why that we should do an ad outside the United States and I'll show you why here. I'm going to have to kind of click around here so I apologize but we will get back in here and let's go ads manager this is ads that I've already created and if you go I'm going to go into right here 
And I want to show you something here. Look at this bottom row right here. So there was a couple different ads to a couple different countries that I did. And what I want you to see here is that I received 332 clicks, 18,000 people were reached, and it only cost me two cents per website click. And so I spent a total of $7.78 to do this, okay? And what I was doing was I was sending them over to my, I have a little downloadable product on my Youth Ministry Ideas website, and so I was getting them over to there for only two cents per click which is what you want to do. So what you want to, really the, the goal with the Facebook ads is to reach as many people as possible for as less money as possible, right? So that's that's what you want to do. So if you can get that cost per click down as, as far as you can, then you are definitely doing a good job. But what I've been finding is that with the website clicks, it's like some something happens between them being on Facebook and then clicking over to the website where they're not really engaging because I was taking them to a page where they could put their email in and then I could follow up with them but for whatever reason a lot of people weren't placing their emails in so I think the better way to go right now at least until I learn more about Facebook ads is just to get more and more people to like your Facebook page and then as you send out updates and things of that nature on your page you've, you've got a, a growing audience a bigger audience to uh, promote different things to them so I think that that's the best way to go and if you can get your cost per clicks down to like two cents or four cents a click or like for for that matter then you are doing quite well in terms of growing your audience because nobody can advertise for that low of a price anymore um, except if you do it right on Facebook so we're gonna do a Facebook ad and I'm going to see what the, what it looks like to do, create a similar ad, since I've already done this. Create a similar ad. No, I don't want to do this. So let's go back to create an ad. And we'll, we're going to say promote a page. And we are going to type in Survivor's Lock-In. This page only has like 22 likes right now, but we're going to see if this does something. And then I'll do a follow-up video to see, to tell you what happens. Again, like I said, I want to share my successes and my failures. So we're just going to um, get United States out. We're going to go back to Italy. Okay, the country. All right, there's Italy. It's kind of cool. It shows the map. All right. So I, we're going to use all that right there. And then we're going to narrow down our audience. So right now the potential reach is 22 million people, um, which you don't want to have that many people, actually. We need to narrow it down. So... Because this product is geared for youth leaders, I'm going to narrow it down to 22 through 25 years of age. We'll make it men and women. We want the language to be English. And I'm going to go with English US just to make it clear so that it knows exactly who I'm trying to reach, which that cut it down to 500,000 people. So, okay, so now we're going to get more specific. Interest, okay. So, we are going to change this out. We don't want shopping and fashion, we want to select. Uh, oh, here we go. It's down here. Let me scroll up. Okay, what did I select last time?
Okay, so what I've done is I have, um, we're going to do demographics, work, job titles, and then I selected youth minister, youth ministry director, youth pastor, youth worker. Okay, and then for this um, interest, what we're going to do is come down to the interest category so we're going to go interests and obviously probably not cosmetics unless you're a really fashionable youth worker so what we're going to do is I think we gotta find I've done this before but it's hard to remember what what it is that I'm looking for so Politics and social issues. There we go. And then religion. Okay. Um, you see how I'm narrowing it down to the specific person I'm looking to advertise to. I'm looking for youth minister, youth ministry director, youth pastor, youth worker, interest, religion. Um, I think what's cool is you can actually just type in what you're looking for. So I'm going to type in Christianity. And I might actually just take that off. I want to do Christianity. And then suggestions. Sometimes that, once you've typed it in, it'll give you more suggestions for interest. So, um, just get these out of here. So, contemporary Christian music, the Bible, um, Christian rock, because lock-ins are crazy. Uh, what else? Let's do, why not youth? Oh, okay. Let's do, oh, Let's do Christian music. Probably Hillsong Church would be popular over there. Cool. We could do Toby Mac. Um, all right, so this is starting to look really, really good. So basically, what we got going on is we are, oops, we are tackling Italy. We are targeting ages 22 through 25, men and women with U.S. English language speakability and readability, so they can read and speak that. Uh, what else? We are targeting associate slash youth pastor, youth director, youth minister, youth ministry director, youth pastor, youth worker, um, with interest in Bible, Christian music, Christian rock, Christianity. Contemporary Christian Music, Hillsong Church, Toby Mac. And I think that's really what I wanted to do. And it says that my potential reach is 460,000 people. So that's good. Um, it's a little bit high. As you can see right here, it still says um, it's fairly broad still. But... In my mind, it's not because we've really narrowed it down to the kinds of people that we want it to be. I could play with this more and see like if what happens when I do 23 through 25, we drop to 340,000 people. Uh, what happens if we go down to between ages 23 and 24? 
then we're dropping it down to 220,000 people. Yeah, let's try that. And connections, Facebook pages, exclude people who like your page. Right, so you don't want anybody obviously being advertised that already likes your page, so you can exclude them. Uh, Facebook pages. Yeah, that's that's what I already did right there. Okay. Now, now we're getting into the how much do you want to spend? Um, you can do. Don't let this scare you. You don't need to spend twenty five dollars a day. You can actually set a budget. And or you could you could run it continuously and just pause it, or you can set a very specific start and stop time. But what we're going to do is I'm going to do uh, going to do we're just going to do a test of. Ten dollars. It gives you estimated daily reach. Okay. Okay. And then what you can do is we can actually spread this out too. So if you do this, it's going to do ten dollars a day. If you do this, however, you can have it start say today and end. It's not going to let us go that long because it won't let us stretch it that thin, but we could do through next, let's see, no, this is what, so if I do a lifetime budget, I can say I only want to spend $10. Okay. Yeah. So you got to spend at least a dollar a day. That's what I was kind of looking for. So what we got to do is we got to bump this. So we'll start it now and then we'll go through like the sixth. Okay. Now that should work, it shouldn't give me any errors because it should still be at least a dollar a day. And here's where you may want to experiment a little bit. You can do an automatic, let Facebook set the bid, which I think, to be honest with you, they're probably going to spend more of your money doing it this way, but it's an okay way to start. If you decide to go manual, they're going to suggest a bid, which is awesome. Two cents. I like that. And you, when you get charged, so so they're going to do cost per impression. So impressions are just like people seeing the ad and not necessarily clicking to like your page. Or you can do this page like okay you get charged went for a actual page like all right and we're gonna have them run all the time throughout the day you can set specific times that's all this stuff is right here okay and then you want to name what this one is so I'm gonna say Italy um, Survivors page likes. Okay. And it's for 23 through 25. No, we actually meant 24. I think we went 23 through 24, didn't we? Oops. Yeah. So now we know what we're doing. We have the ad. We have all that stuff ready to go. I know I'm going to spend $10. We know it's going to Italy. And it's very specific to... Uh, youth leaders, youth workers. So now we'll go to the next thing. 
Oh, what's it saying? We found one air. The minimum budget required is thirty dollars, five dollars per day. Really? Well, so let's just do a daily budget, and let's do. Five dollars, and let's do through April second. Okay. So now we'll see what happens. Everything else looks like it's the same. It's for page likes. We're manually bidding two cents per like, which is amazing. And looks like we're still in the 220,000 people range. And for my, the 31st through April 2nd, I'm potentially reaching 1,500 to 4,000 people. And they're only estimating this. And this is a two-day run of your of the ad. Okay, so that's really cool. So I'm starting with only 22 likes on my Survivor's Lock-In Facebook page. And so we're going to come back and we are going to see what the results are. And I will make a, a video for you, a follow-up video, so you can see this. So now we're going to choose the ad creative if everything goes through. Cool. Um, okay, and then it's going to show you this the mobile news feed desktop, and it's warning us that the image here, <coughs> excuse me, it's warning us that the image that I'm using, it's got too much um, words are over 20% of the image, and they don't like that. So that's okay. I knew that already. So what we're going to do is we're going to say um, like us and download the survivors lock in okay it's short and simple and sweet okay people don't really pay attention much so they just want to see something fast um, headline I think what we should do here is I'm going to still instill that I want them to download it. Now I know we're going for page likes and not downloads of the product, but we're going to see if this psychology works. Download survivors lock in. There we go. Oh, it's gonna let me do that. So we'll take out the dash. There we go. Landing view. Um, choose a particular view or app on your page where people will land when they click on your ad. Uh, just the timeline's fine. That's cool. I didn't know that. They're always changing things, by the way. So if you see this uh, video at a later time, Facebook's always changing the way they do ads, okay? Um, We don't need conversion tracking on this one. So what we need to do, guys, is we need to do images. So we're going to get rid of that one. We are going to upload. I know that I just did a couple other images for Survivor. And I think what I'll do is that one. So it's uploading. And it's scanning it. Boom. Like us and download the survivor's lock-in. 
cool. Very, very cool. And there's a picture of a kid and he's smiling. Um, you could probably do better. Like, I've heard people talk about, like, upload an image that has, like, a red, like, a red border around it because it highlights it more. And all those things are really good tricks, guys. So, um, again, we're not going to get really specific on this particular video, okay? But I like this one. We could do another one, I guess, but we're going to just run with this one because I've already tested the image. It seemed to work just fine. Um, this will give you an example of what it looks like. So this looks like on a desktop. This is what it looks like on a phone. And then this is what it would look like on the right of a desktop computer. Alrighty. Well, actually, I might... Maybe I can search for a different one. There's one that I really like that I think... I don't think it's going to be in here. It might be in here somewhere. Oh, I know. Maybe what I could do is browse the library because it should have images. Yeah, this is a perfect one right here. This is the one that I want. I love this one. Let's do that one. Because the, the, it says survivor's lock-in, the image isn't too uh, too crazy. And let's look at the news feed. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what we want right here. And they're looking like, it looks like there's no problems. The, the words aren't taking over 20% of the, the image, so we are good to go, guys. And again, we're just going to do one. You can do more images, but... And that's for like testing purposes. So like if you did like three images, they'll actually run all three images and then they'll track your progress or which image does better for you. So that's not a bad idea. But let's go ahead and run with this. And we are going to place, we can review the order and then we can place the order. I'm just gonna place it. Your order has been placed. You'll receive a notification once your ads are reviewed. In review, approved. So they'll, they're going to look at it right now, and if it meets all the qualifications that Facebook has for advertising guidelines, then you will be approved. You'll get a notification that you'll you'll be approved, and then you can see what the results of your your ad is. So I'm curious already. So I will do a follow up video with you in terms of you know, what has happened with this specific ad, and I'll show you. Again, it started off with 22 page likes, so we'll see what happens in two days worth of Facebook advertising, specifically to Italy, specifically to 23 to 24 year olds, male, female, that are uh, youth workers in the Christian world. So, I'll hit continue, and then it's gonna, this is the Facebook ads, uh, manager page where you can look at the results so right now it's pending I'm spending five dollars a day for two days and we will see what the results are so thanks for watching this video guys um, please make sure that you like and subscribe to scuba steve marketing for more marketing ideas and tips and share this video like this video if you know somebody that might want to um, or might be able to use this video um, please uh, tag them in it or send this video to them again guys as always keep diving into marketing online take care